Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. These are really strange. And they're really big, too. Uh, let's see how we make this turn up a treat. It's going to be a challenging one, but it's got potential. Let's see if we can make it happen. Okay, let's see what these are. They are huge. They look like a pair of board shorts and they've got pictures of sexy women down the front. So we're going to utilize this side. So we're going to utilize this side showing these girls. Sixty nine slam, I think it's called. I see printed on there. Sixty nine slam. But yeah, it's obviously a pair of pants with a sexy girl's motif. Yeah, these girls have come up looking quite interesting. I don't like that rumple that we have there, in, unfortunately. Uh, gonna have to somehow flatten that one out. Don't know where that rumple is, whether it's up here or down there. It's somewhere, it's really annoying. I don't like rumples in my, in some of this work that I do. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. And I've got this 69 slam in the middle. So that looks really nice. Uh, I do wonder where the center of the job is going to be. I'm gonna make it there. 69 slam, I wonder why it's called that. Um, I thought the photocopier did what well, the button wasn't working for a moment that I didn't push it properly. Yeah, 69 slam. Interesting. Never heard of 69 slam as a a surfwear label. I don't think it's angled enough. Whatever, folks. Um, we're probably going to run out of yellow toner after the cyan toner is gone, so we've got to make not maybe not make too many copies in yellow if we can avoid it because the yellow looks like it's the next next color on its way out sixty nine slam Interesting name for um, surfwear. 
we've got more than one possibility on how to put this together so I'm going to do what's known as a switcheroo once I've got these pieces on display first a little bit tricky this um it's a bit curly anyway that's our first uh, combination of uh, 69 slam so we're going to go by this this label here so we're going to switch this around and this is going to be the center these are a huge pair of pants um, obviously a plus size but it's nice to see plus sizes being made in nice patterns because a lot of the time clothing for um, overweight people tended to be really boring that's our second piece so it tended to be really boring like a lot of the time they, they treat the clothing labels don't didn't you never used to cater for the those people who are large both female I think mostly females didn't get really good patterns and designs for their plus size it's really nice to see plus sizes being represented now as fashion I used to be a plus I've been in, I've been there and done that folks I've seen what it's like to be a large size and trying to find something you like and not finding it because you're too large to fit into the ones that look really nice sorry about the curling folks uh, it's really difficult but you'll get my idea that looks really nice it looks better than the other two arrangements and this is our last version which I think will be the best hopefully but yeah I'm really glad that plus sizes are getting more fashion obviously there's been an outcry over the years that people who are overweight or obese don't get the same choices that their skinnier counterparts typically get so it's really nice to see that I think this is probably men's wear as well so I think it applies to them as well as the women um, anyway that's come up looking really nice I think this is the best I'm glad I did it this switcheroo gotta go